Really interesting to watch, there was chaos everywhere, but the guys are trying to stay focused on what they're doing, focused on their routine. Hey vlog, I'm at this networking event for eSports. It's, uh, sorry, not eSports, it's just about data in sport and the digital age, so looking forward to learning a bit about that. Um, a lot of interesting people involved in sport, involved in data, we're about to kick off. Morning legends, I'm here at Punt Road Oval in uh, Richmond. We're home of the Richmond Football Club, last year's AFL Premiers. We've just been to a great event on data and the future of sports, speaking about eSports, dis disruption in sport, content, so really interesting to try and stay ahead of um, what's happening in the world of sport, really great learning, but a nice cold morning, got a coffee, and we're looking forward to hopefully seeing a few of the Richmond boys come out, there's a few over there now. We're also going to head down the road and see if Melbourne are training as well. Hey guys, we just moved from Punt Road down to Gosh's Paddock. We've got a busy road here, so I hope you can hear me okay, but this is where the Melbourne Demons Football Club train. So we just thought we'd check that out, so come on, follow me. Not only is the other demons training here, but we've got Amy Stadium, the Melbourne Storm look like they're training. And then we've got the MCG, which is just behind Punt Road across there. So this is a hub for sport in Melbourne. Let's go and check the demons out. Right, we're here in front of the Melbourne Demons footy training. It's really interesting to see how other sports go about their stuff. They've just been having a bit of free time to kick at goals by the looks of it. Really interesting to watch. There was chaos everywhere, but the guys are trying to stay focused on what they're doing, focused on their routine and kicking the goals. So, good to be here in Melbourne, the hub of the sport in Australia. Hey legends, just at my mum's flat here in St Kilda. Um, Will's here with me, just debriefing on everything we learned over the weekend. So much information, so much Great content that I can't wait to share with you guys. Although it was a business event, it was a lot about mindset and emotional intelligence as well. And um, I don't think I learned a huge amount of new things, but um, I went deeper in things that I already knew and understood and things that I've always been talking about and teaching. So it was really good to reaffirm the stuff that I I know and believe and that I've been teaching that, that other people at a higher level in a different industry are teaching. So that was great. Um, and now we're just at home implementing some stuff, taking action. One of the biggest things out of the event was this saying M-A-I-A, -A, massive and immediate action. If you want to achieve anything in life, you've got to take not just massive action, you've got to do it now. One of the biggest killers for people and the reason they don't succeed is because they say, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'll go for a run tomorrow. I'll go for a run in the morning. I'll do meditate tonight. Oh, it's too cold. I'll, I'll have a hit tomorrow. Whatever it is, we make excuses and then it doesn't get done. And the reason that, that people are successful in life, in any walk of life, is because they get it done. They do the work. They take action. What I teach, what I coach, I give people the tools to fast track their success and then it's up to them. It's up to them how they implement it. No one has ever achieved success in any walk of life without taking action. No one wakes up and they're successful. So it's really, really inspired me to, to keep passing on that message. You gotta be patient, you gotta stick at it, you gotta just learn from the best and then implement, you gotta take action. And that's why I was at this conference. It was 18 hours a day, full on, pushed my mind, pushed my body and wheels. He um, flew in from Perth just to, for this and to do a bit of work over here. So it was incredibly tough for him, um, but at 14 years old, he has now has an incredible amount of knowledge but it, it now has inspired me to just take action. I've always got to be taking action for my business, for um, what my own learning, and then I can pass it on to you guys. And if you want to be the best, you've got to take action. So hope you enjoyed that, and I can't wait to keep passing on messages that we've, um, we've, from the weekend and implementing these changes into the business. You'll be okay. Great things to come.
big skulls carrying all the gear. Looking forward to getting into this studio, seeing what it's like. Yeah, let's, go. let's do this. First up, we've got Aiden Blizzard. Achievement, love of, love of people. I love the community aspect that sport gives. Um, I grew up in a community that was, was was sport and got some great friends from it. So whether or not I'm playing in three or four years time, I'll definitely be involved in a club. And whether it's cricket or whether it's another sport, that's the, the sense of community and um, what you can actually take out of that and what you can give is so significant. So um, if you look at it through that lens, I think you'd be pretty happy for the rest of your life. And that's what the plan is. Awesome. Well, please, thank you so much. You've Thanks given for us having me. Um, absolute gold there. And hopefully the audience, no doubt, took a lot from it. And best of luck for your future. Thank you. Hey legends, I am back at my mum's place in St Kilda after a very successful afternoon. We got three podcast interviews done, as you will have seen, a short snippet from each one. Will's here editing some content. Uh, I feel like I've got to take a deep breath. It was four hours of non-stop talking and, and interviewing, but fascinating hearing the stories of Aidan Blizzard, Chris Tremaine and, and Will Pukowski and all absolutely cracking fellas, all really, really um, great guys, so good to connect with them. Will even dropped us home, um, which he didn't have to do, so great to connect with them now. Nothing planned for the evening um, in terms of meeting people, but we're going to be working on um, content and getting stuff done. Get it done. Hey vlog, we just come up to a restaurant near my mum's place where we're staying. We've got the women's... We've got the women's IPL um, game, the T20 Challenge um, on in India, and yeah, really exciting moment in world cricket with uh, some of the best players in the world going head to head. And this is a precursor for the women's IPL. Let's hope it's around next year. Let's hope there's good viewers today being broadcast all around the world. And let's hope that the women's IPL is, starts next year. Hey vlog, it is 10 to 10. Um, just sitting here at the table, went out for a nice meal um, with Will. He leaves tomorrow, so went and watched a bit of the women's IPL match, um, which was really, really exciting. Um, good level of cricket, so really excited about that. Hopefully that's not far away, as I've already spoken about. But sitting here, I'm super tired, but feeling super motivated. I've got so much I need to do, so much I want to do. Um, I'm on absolute fire. I'm getting shit done, um, not wasting time with little things but trying to go to the big things that are important and so feeling really really motivated and excited for the future so on that note hope you've enjoyed today's vlog busy day started early but fantastic day great to connect with three great cricketers and even better blokes so look forward to releasing those podcasts in the next few weeks just banking them up over the next few weeks to give us a bit of breathing space but they'll be released um, in good time so look forward to sharing them with you and hope you've enjoyed this vlog um, another busy day tomorrow meetings in the morning um, and then bits and pieces throughout the day. So looking forward to that, and I'll see you soon, legends.